Um, I got a, a, a comment from somebody who asked if my typewriters were for sale that I'm showing on YouTube and I, the answer to that is no. Um, I'm just showing them. They are a part of my collection of 50 typewriters now and today is 28th of 2011 in March and um, they are not for sale, they are only for show. Um, um, I, I started up collecting about two years ago now and I in total have now 53 machines here they are, um, here are a couple and here and so that's why I'm saying no they are not for sale and that's just the answer, I'm not selling them any I'm sorry about that but that's just final, I'm keeping them myself so let's move on here, uh, this is a Hermes 3000 from 1961 um, it is in good condition. It works perfectly. Good rib new ribbon in it. Um, platen is not in great shape. It has seen better days. Uh, there are a few scratches here and here and here and here, which are caused by the lid. Um, and there is a dent in the back, as you can see here. But besides that, this machine is in great shape. Um, um, the problem of this machine is that the keys strike a bit hard, that they, the uh, period uh, strikes through the paper and hits the platen. as you can see how many times that it happened to people. This is all the period. The period is a bit sharp. You also can see that, that they made it a bit too long, which is causing the uh, striking and which is causing the damage to the platen and my re uh, letters because if you keep it against light you can barely read anything that's standing on there but beside that it's in great machine it has really mint green keys as you can see it has more features than the portable machine did back then it has the um, tabulator and the tabulator set and clear and all clear and the margin release and the backspace um, this machine has the exclamation point and dollar sign and all that and uh, yeah it's a great machine I can take the cover off nah, I'm not going to do it now it's kind of hard to put it back in it has a nice long lever as you can see which works fine, the bell works too uh, mint green uh, knobs and it has a paper support here and here paper a liner it has the margin sets inside the um, focus inside the paper bell this paper bell and that's why you see them um they were fine too you have to set them by pulling this little handlebar at the back um yeah I might just pull them off I pull it back later Here's the inside, it's kind of dirty now because I have used this machine that's oil and ink that have been in there before I oiled it. It's a brand new spool in there, although you can see that it has been used. And it's a clean inside. I've uh, cleaned it and washed it a while ago. Um, the way to keep these covers, take you can take some covers off machines. To keep them in such a nice great uh, shape is actually to wash them, hand wash them with a bit of dishwashing soap, a little bit and some water and then just rinse it off really nice. You can see that it turns in like beautiful. So that might be an option, don't do the machine itself, only the cover, the other have you have to do with a special kind of spray, all surface spray. Uh, that's just the way I do it and it works perfectly. It has uh, one one and a half and two spaces and yeah it has uh, it is I think that's a 12 inch carriage it is no that's not right anyway it does 10 type per inch um, it has a carriage lock down there as you can see and yeah it's just in great shape uh, it came with one brush that's in here it's in the cover, yeah. I, I just show you it's here. As you can see, it's a brush, and yeah, it's just a great machine. I'm happy to have it in my collection, although it's not perfect. 
So uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good one. Bye.